Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new Ninjago video here on the channel. My name is Tanner Fishies. In today's video, we are going to be discussing the circumstances surrounding Harumi's return in Ninjago Crystallized and how those circumstances may have just been revealed. If you guys have been keeping up with Ninjago news as of late, you may be familiar with the new episode descriptions that we just got for episodes number 13 and 14 of Ninjago Crystallized, otherwise known as the first two episodes of Crystallized Part 2. I've already made a separate video talking about those descriptions in great detail, however, one of them seemingly reveals how exactly Harumi came back in Ninjago Crystallized, after presumably dying in Ninjago Hunted. So we're going to be discussing that really quick for today's upload, but just keep in mind that this video may contain potential spoilers for Ninjago Crystallized Part 2, it seems like there will be an entire episode dedicated to Harumi's backstory and her origin, and the description in my opinion kind of reveals a little bit too much. So there's your spoiler warning, but for those of you guys that are still here and want to hear how Harumi came back in Ninjago Crystallized, let's go ahead and read that description. So the description itself is for episode 13 of Ninjago Crystallized, and it's called A Sinister Shadow. The description itself reads as follows. Harumi tells Lloyd how she survived and became the Herald of the Crystal King. Lloyd learns her plan for Ninjago, but is powerless to stop her. So yes, even though this description is somewhat short, it still mentions how Harumi came back by using the word survived, in the context of Harumi tells Lloyd how she survived, meaning that in Ninjago Hunted, when the building fell on her face, she seemingly survived that entire process, which is isn't impossible when you think about it. It isn't very likely that Harumi survived that entire building falling on her face, but crazier things have happened in Ninjago before, so Harumi surviving an accident like that, I could see that being the case. So it looks like she simply survived. She's not going to be a zombie. She's not being possessed in Ninjago crystallized. This is just regular old Harumi. I imagine though she was barely hanging on after the building fell on her. She probably survived, but she was still barely hanging on. Maybe the Crystal King or, you know, the Overlord saved her, brought her back to his hideout perhaps, and nursed her back to health, that could always be the case as well. Again, that's just more so a theory on the part of myself, but I'm hesitant to describe the entire situation as 100% Harumi led. Maybe throughout the background of several Ninjago seasons that we've seen previously, Harumi and the Overlord were on a similar path, slowly being nursed back to health in their own individual ways, and ever since the Vengestone Buyer stuff has been going down, they've been actively building up their plan. I imagine this decision will be fairly controversial among the entire Ninjago community. There's a lot of people out there that simply just hate Harumi and don't like that she's back, but honestly, as a fan of the character, as a fan of Harumi, I'm excited to see her back. As I've said earlier in other videos, the character would not have been brought back unless the show had some type of special plan for her, so I'm excited to see what that's all about. I would like to see if her mindset as well from Ninjago Hunted will remain the same, or if she's just going to be 100% evil here. Maybe she was mind wiped during the healing process or something by the Overlord himself, maybe sending her towards a more evil path, as opposed to the path of good that she ended her Hunted story on all those many years ago. But at the end of the day, speculation aside, the only thing that we have confirmed, seemingly by these episode descriptions, is that Harumi survived the building collapse during Ninjago Hunted. How she survived that, how she managed to pull that off, off, we're just gonna have to wait and see. But of course, with that being said, that'll pretty much wrap it up for my thoughts here today. Leave all your thoughts on this subject down below in the comment section. How do you think Harumi ended up surviving the building falling on her during Ninjago Hunted? Do you think she just got lucky, or do you think she was saved, possibly by the Overlord or the Crystal King himself? And how do you feel about Harumi surviving that entire encounter? Leave all your thoughts down below in the comments, hopefully you enjoyed, and that'll pretty much wrap it up for my thoughts here today. Thank you all so much for watching, everybody. If you enjoyed, be sure to like and subscribe to all that fun stuff, and I will talk to you guys again in the next video. Peace.